The summer tour season is just around the corner, and a ton of big rock tours have been announced that are taken to the road over the next few months, including some really stellar rock lineups. So here are the 10 must-see rock tours of summer 2023. First up, we have the reunited Blink-182 and Turnstile taken to the road pretty much all around the globe. North America, Europe, Australia, uh, South America, they're doing the entire the entire run. And of course, this is the reunited Blink-182 with Tom DeLonge back in the band. They've already played a couple of shows, including Coachella a couple of weeks ago. Looks like the, uh, the set was really, really good. A lot of great Blink-182 songs in the set list. And yeah, this is reunited with Tom DeLonge. So uh, although the tickets may be expensive to go, uh, to go see Blink-182, it's definitely going to be worth it. And then to go Go see Turnstile open up for, for Blink-182, one of the, the best up-and-coming, well, not really, they've been around for a decade, but uh, one of the uh, the best rock bands, punk rock, hardcore bands out there right now. Although I don't know how a Turnstile set would translate to a big arena show like at, like, like at a Blink-182 show because Turnstile is known for their very intense, uh, very intimate shows where, you know, half the audience is up on stage with them. So uh, to see them translate, I think the music could, but to see their live show translate to, a, to a, something like an arena show or a stadium show like they're going to be doing. Uh, with Blink-182 is definitely going to be interesting, uh, but this is exciting. The reunited Blink-182 taken to the road this summer with Turnstile. Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds, Garbage, and Metric are going on tour across North America. Of course, Noel Gallagher is going to be promoting his brand new fourth studio album, Council Skies, which comes out on June the 2nd. And you know what? This isn't a bill that I normally would think would go well together. I know that Noel Gallagher, of obviously of Oasis and Garbage, are, are kind of 90s rock staples, but uh, I didn't really picture those two bands getting together for a tour. So I think that's going to actually be really cool. And with Metric, uh, they're one of my, you know, one of the Canadian bands that I love, and they put out a lot of great music over the years. So this is going to be a great show i got my tickets although i'm a little bit a little bit pissed off because uh, i bought my tickets at regular price and then live nation announces that they're selling tickets for 25 dollars a piece so uh, i guess I, I shouldn't have bought those tickets right out of the gate and waited until they went on uh, on promo but it's going to be a great show and a great tour with noel gallagher's high flying birds garbage and metric one of the heavier tours, one of the most emo tours that's going to be hitting uh, the road in summer 2023 is the used Pierce the Veil and one of my favorite bands, Dom Broco. They're going to be touring uh, across North America. The used have a new album coming out called Toxic Positivity. Uh, Pierce the Veil just released their new album a couple of months ago. And then Dom Broco released Amazing Things in 2021. And they've been uh, going on tour across the world promoting that record. And uh, Dom Broco is really the reason why I'm going to this show. Uh, I've seen them a bunch of times. They're one of my favorite uh, bands in, in the world right now. Now. So uh, they canceled their their headlining North American tour, which is uh, which is kind of annoying. But they're going to be coming back, opening up for Pierce the Veil and the Used. And I think this is going to be one of the better uh, heavy emo uh, rock shows that's going to be uh, hitting the stage in summer 2023. So really excited for the Used, Pierce the Veil, and Don Broco. Hot on the heels of the release of their brand new studio album, 72 Seasons, Metallica is going on tour this summer. Not just this summer, but for the rest of 2023, leading into 2024. They've been away uh, from the live stage for a little while uh, since the release of their last studio album. But they're uh, they're taking to the stage and they're actually doing something different for their tour uh, coming up uh, this summer and well into uh, 2023 and 2024. They're doing a no-repeat weekend. So that means they're playing sets on this tour where they don't repeat any songs from night to night or at least for, for the weekend. They'll do two different sets sets for for every weekend and they have some great openers for them as well on this tour uh they got five finger death punch on tour with them and then they got wolfgang van halen and mammoth wvh opening up for them on some of their shows which is uh, absolutely incredible because i think that uh, that mammoth wvh is one of the best uh, rock bands on the planet right now so this is going to be a really great tour uh, metallica are still sounding great and their new album was really great as well so looking forward to metallica going on tour to support 72 seasons and the Foo Fighters are taking to the road in summer 2023, their first tour since the passing of the legendary Taylor Hawkins in March of 2021. They have a new album coming out on June the 2nd called But Here We Are, and they're taking to the road. We're so glad that the Foo Fighters are continuing on as a band and that they're getting back on the stage for mostly festival dates that are going to be happening uh, this summer. A couple of headliners in there as well, and of course the big question is, who's going to be playing drums with the Foo Fighters? Who's going to be uh, taking over for, for Taylor Hawkins on these tour dates? We don't know yet, but the first day is coming up at the end of May in uh, New Hampshire, in New Hampshire. So we should be seeing who's going to be filling in for the drum seat for the Foo Fighters very soon as they take to a bunch of festival dates in summer 2023. 
And the Smashing Pumpkins are heading out on tour after the release of their album trilogy, the Autumn Trilogy, which they just released the final installment of uh, last week. The review for that is up here on the channel. And this is actually one of the better tours that is happening this summer. you got Smashing Pumpkins, you got Interpol, Rival Sons, one of my favorite uh, bands out there right now, as well as Stone Temple Pilots. Now, in this whole lineup, not every band is appearing on every date, but, you know, like for for, for me, Dollars to Donuts, this is probably the best uh, lineup of any of the, the summer rock tours that are happening uh, uh, although I don't really dig the new Smashing Pumpkins albums, the trilogy of albums, I really do think they're probably still a great live band. I haven't seen them in a long time, but this is going to be a good tour. Smashing Pumpkins, Interpol, Rival Sons, who have a new album coming out as well, called Dark Fighter on June the 2nd, and Stone Temple Pilots. This, for me, is a great lineup. And although this might not be happening directly in summer 2023, it's actually happening more in the fall. I thought it was definitely worth mentioning uh, in this video, and that is the final tour for Aerosmith, their Peace Out tour. The band has announced that this is going to be their final tour, although you can never really trust uh, these older bands when they say they're finally done and this is going to be their last tour. Just look at Kiss. They've been doing their last tour for the last decade or so. Uh, but Aerosmith says Peace Out. They're saying this is it. This is going to be their final tour. They're going out with the Black Crows, which is one of my favorite uh, rock bands out there. I've loved the Black Crows for many many years and uh, this is actually a great double bill this is definitely worth checking out although Aerosmith might not be in their prime anymore they're, they're getting on in years but they still sound great uh, and the Black Crows are still sounding great as well with the uh, the brothers Robinson back together and I think this is going to be a really great tour that is mostly going around North America but hopefully uh, they announce some international dates as well so Aerosmith and Black Crows the peace out tour this fall it's definitely gonna be one to see Incubus is going on tour this summer, not in uh, support of any particular album, but they're going on tour this summer with Bad Flower, which is another uh, great up-and-coming rock and roll band, and Paris Jackson, of all people, the daughter of Michael Jackson. I, I was aware that she uh, she was a musician and that she had a music career going. I uh, actually haven't heard any of her music, but uh, she must be pretty good for Incubus to want to take her uh, out on tour, and although this might not be the strongest lineup of any of these rock tours that I'm mentioning in this video, it's definitely worth checking out Incubus, Bad Flower, and Paris. Paris Jackson. And if you're into punk rock, this is going to be one of the tours to see in summer 2023, and that is The Offspring, Simple Plan, and Sum 41. Now, Offspring still releasing a lot of great music, and I think they're still a really great band. Simple Plan, I've never really been into them, but they have a lot of hits, so obviously they'll be able to put together a, a good tour set list. And then Sum 41, this will be exciting, well, because they announced this week that they're breaking up. Yeah, Sum 41 are going to put out one final album and go on tour one last time, uh, and that includes this, uh, this stint with The Offspring and Simple Plan. So if you want to see some 41 before they break up, this might be your last chance. And also kind of in the pop punk uh, territory, we have the tour of the All-American Rejects, Newfound Glory, and Story of the Year. Now, if you're a fan of mid-2000s pop punk uh, and pop rock, this is definitely going to be something for you to check out. All-American Rejects haven't been on the road for, for quite a few years, so this is their first tour uh, in quite a while. Newfound Glory, I think, have been putting out a lot of great music over the last little while and definitely a great uh, punk band to see. Not too familiar with Story of the Year, uh, but uh, this is a great punk, pop punk lineup. Maybe not as strong as The Offspring, Simple Plan, and Sum 41. Uh, but it's definitely one to check out. So All American Rejects, Newfound Glory, and Story of the Year going on tour in 2023. And although there are many more tours happening this summer, uh, you can let me know in the comments uh, which ones you're going to see. The, these are the ones that I think are, are going to be the best summer rock tours for 2023. So let me know uh, what uh, summer rock uh, tours you're looking forward to this year, which ones you got tickets for. I have tickets to go see Noel Gallagher. I got tickets to go see The Used, Pierce the Veil, and Don Broco. So let me know what tours uh, you got tickets for and what shows you're looking forward to and uh, and that's it for this video guys thanks for watching those are our top 10 summer rock tours for summer 2023 we'll see you again